Once upon a time, in Mexico, lived a girl whose father was Lebanese, while her mother was Spanish. She was raised in a Catholic home, but nobody would have ever imagined that this girl would one day grow up and become the famous actress, director, and producer known as Selma Hayek. But how did Selma Hayek become a celebrity? And why did she choose the film life and industry? Is it true that her grandmother regularly shaved her head and eyebrows when she was young? Well, she was once diagnosed with dyslexia and ADHD. Did she win with the Best New Team Award in 2006? Did Selma really have at least 50 pets? Was she really denied by the studio for being a Latina at 24 years old? What was her life like before fame? It's time for me to answer all these questions and more, since this is ASMR. Aaron, back at it again with another daily video to help you relax. So lay back. This is the tale of Selma Hyde. Selma Haya Jimenez was born in Coatzacoalcos, Veracruz, Mexico on September the 2nd in 1966. Her father, Sammy Hayek Dominguez, is Lebanese Mexican, hailing from the city of Babda, Lebanon a city Selma and her father visited in 2015. Her father, Sami Hayek Dominguez, is Lebanese Mexican hailing from the city of Babda, Lebanon, a city Selma and her father visited in 2015 to promote her movie, Cahil Gibran's The Prophet. He owns an industrial equipment firm and is an oil company executive in Mexico who once ran for mayor of Coatzalcoalcos, her mother, Diana Jimenez Medina, is an opera singer and talent scout and is Mexican of Spanish descent. In an interview in 2015 with Un Nuevo Día, while visiting Madrid, Hayek described herself as 50% Lebanese and 50% Spanish, stating that her grandmother, maternal great-grandparents, were from Spain. Her younger brother, Sammy, born 1972, is a furniture designer. Raised in a well-to-do Catholic home, Hayek attended a convent school in Louisiana at the age of 12 and lived with her aunt in Houston, Texas during her teens. After a brief stint at university in Mexico City, she dropped out to pursue a career in acting, eventually becoming a telenovela star in her native Mexico. In 1991, the ambitious Hayek moved to Los Angeles, California determined to improve her English and become a Hollywood actress. After small gigs, she landed a role opposite Antonio Banderas in 1995's Desperado. The success of the film garnered her work in relatively lacklustre movies, including the teen thriller The Faculty, 1998, 1999's Wild Wild West, and 1997's Fools Rush In. Subsequently, Hayek became engaged with smaller independent pictures and began her own production company, Ventana Rosa. Hayek's increasingly intellectual and passionate approach to filmmaking culminated in her dream role in 2002's Frida, which she produced and starred in as Frida Kahlo. The film was nominated for six Academy Awards, including a Best Actress nomination for Hayek, making her the first Latin actress to be nominated in that category. 
Large-scale projects followed the success of Frida, including directing 2002's The Maldonado Miracle. Starring in the final episode of the Desperado trilogy, Once Upon a Time in Mexico in 2003, and appearing in the heist thriller After the Sunset 2004, with Pierce Brosnan, Emmy Award winner and Oscar nominee Hayek went on to serve as an executive producer of the hit television series Ugly Betty. Based on the Colombian telenovela Yo Soy Betty La Fea, the series ran from 2006 to 2010, premiering on ABC and garnering a Golden Globe win, Best Comedy, in 2007. Also in 2007, the show's star, America Ferrera, won the Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series. Demonstrating her comedic skills, Hayek made a series of guest appearances on the popular sitcom 30 Rock in 2009. She played a nurse who becomes romantically involved with a television network executive, played by Alec Baldwin, later returning to the show for two guest appearances in 2013. The actress went on to appear opposite Adam Sandler in the 2010 comedy Grown Ups. Hayek proved that she could hold her own as a voice actor as well, after appearing in Puss in Boots in 2011, a spin-off of the popular Shrek franchise, alongside Antonio Banderas, who voiced the lead role. She also reprised her role as Adam Sandler's wife in Grown Ups 2 in 2013. After starring in the violent action flick Everly 2015, Hayek pivoted to more serious material with the widespread release of Khalil Gibran's The Prophet later that year. The actress produced and provided voiceover work for the movie, an animated retelling of Gibran's collection of spiritual essays. In 2017, after dozens of other women had come forth to accuse mega-producer Harvey Weinstein of rape, harassment and other disturbing behaviour, Hayek penned an op-ed piece for the New York Times titled Harvey Weinstein is my monster too. The actress described numerous attempts to fend off his advances over the years. No to me taking a shower with him. No to letting him watch me take a shower. No to letting him give me a massage. No to letting a naked friend of his give me a massage. No to letting him give me oral sex. No to my getting naked with another woman. Additionally, during one fit of rage, Weinstein allegedly threatened to kill her. Hayek began dating French entrepreneur François-Henri Pinot in 2006 and the couple became engaged the following year. She gave birth to daughter Valentina Paloma Pinot on September 21, 2007 in Los Angeles, California. The couple married on Valentine's Day 2009 in Paris, France and held a second ceremony soon after in Venice. Hayek had previously been romantically linked to several actors including Edward Norton, Edward Atterton and Richard Krenner Jr. When Salma Hayek was younger, her grandmother would regularly shave her head and eyebrows to try and make her hair thicker. It's an interesting concept that probably led to some unique pictures. Who knows if what her grandmother did really worked for Salma, but it's something unusual about her childhood. Some people might get really excited to know that Salma Hayek has had no problem getting naked in films. In fact, she even won an award for the best nude scene in 2006 for her scene with Colin Farrell in Ask the Dust. It's a unique award to win, which most people probably didn't even know exists. Saying that Salma is an animal lover is an understatement. It's been known that throughout her life she's had at least 50 pets. Her home has pretty much become an animal shelter. She's had more than just dogs. She's also had parrots, horses and alpacas. These definitely aren't your typical pets. When Salma was younger, she was diagnosed with ADHD and dyslexia. These are pretty common problems and this celebrity deals with them as well. She was diagnosed twice with ADHD until she really believed that she had it. Even with dyslexia, Salma kept learning English and pursuing a career as an actress. Sadly, Salma Hayek's career almost never happened. When she was 24 years old, she was rejected by movie studios because she was a Latina. Supposedly, studios told her it was the only thing stopping them from hiring her. 
Luckily, she broke through and made a career. Salma is a versatile actress who can do many different things on the screen. And so ends the tale of the famous actress, director and producer Salma Hayek, who lived happily ever after, continuing her career in movies.